sharing some gifts, including me. For you, I will live. Look at my gift, and I wonder, will you accept it? I'm in need of your blessing. This is my expression. Welcome to Faith Avenue, right here, and this is your brother, Minister Cage. Um, I'm so excited today. Guess what? <laughs> All right. Um, today we'll be, uh, you know, uh, looking at a very special life. When I get into this life and get to read each and every page. And ladies and gentlemen, today I bring to you Deborah Sichashi on your celebrity segment. <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome. How are you? Thank you. I'm you look right. good. How are you? Thank you. You're looking good too. <laughs> where have you been? Tell me. Where have you uh, been hiding? And why have you been, been hiding? Where have you been and where have you been hiding? <laughs> <laughs> I've been around, yes. Um, after, okay, I, I just went on a short break because of uh, the pregnancy. I got married and after that I was heavy, I have a baby, you know, motherhood has taken over. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> Congratulations it's not to really start hiding, with. but... <laughs> Uh -huh. I've been just uh, making sure that at least at this stage I can leave the baby to oh, do yeah. ministry, yes. Ah, great. Uh, um, first things first, how's home? Home is awesome. It's and ministry? Fine. Ministry is growing by the grace of God. It is growing. And my granddaughter. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> she has remained. She has remained. Yes. She's doing the house chores. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, I'm loving this. So today we just want to get into your life and get to learn one or two things, you know, from our celebrity, Deborah C. Mm -hmm. So tell me, and I chose Deborah C. Um, Deborah C is a born-again Christian who loves God. She's a minister, a wife, a mother, a sister, and a daughter to someone. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Brilliant. So um, how many are you like in your family? We are five. I'm the firstborn. Wow. Yeah, we are three sisters and two brothers. Okay. Yes. Um, um, tell me, <laughs> I have a lot of things to find out. <laughs> All right. So, what, what, how, how does it feel, you know, being the firstborn from the family of five? You know, carrying the birthright, you carry the whole family on your shoulder. Okay. That's what I know. <laughs> For myself, it's been a great experience. You know, uh, you learn to be a boss. <laughs> okay. You learn, <laughs> you to, learn boss to, be to boss people. around everyone. Hey, <laughs> okay. Do this, do that. And just being responsible because everyone is looking up to you. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so um, being a firstborn is awesome because you're a role model. Mm -hmm. And uh, because of that, you just... Um, focus on doing the right things and even in those right things there are mistakes yes but you find yourself to be making sure i want to do this so that so my siblings yes i set an example for my siblings and okay. others out there yes all right um run me through your academic experience my academic experience uh did my primary i, I won't talk about my baby class history well, okay i don't really remember maybe, maybe, but maybe no. somebody would was, want to know <laughs> i was troubled i was <laughs> to run away from school ah, okay <laughs> yeah baby class was an experience that i can't remember much but uh primary i was at highland by then it was highland uh, primary school okay. in the banana yes that's why i did my primary level from grade one to uh, seven i wrote my exams passed with flying colors, of course. Wow. You know, I know, right? The firstborn. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, course. a frame set. Oh, yes. And then I went to St. Monica's Girls School. That's in Matero East. Ah, okay. Yes, I was that's wondering. Where I did my junior secondary. Okay. And I did my senior secondary at um, Olympia Park High School. Yes. Uh, from there, I did my tertiary at uh, Thames uh, Center of Excellence. I did um, uh, healthcare assistance. Oh, so, okay, by okay. professional, I'm a healthcare assistant. Wow. That's what I do, yes. Wow, I'm loving this. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me, uh, during your early grades experience, what was the most fascinating instance that you remember? Uh, I don't really remember, apart from loving my results in school, because I was okay. the best. I was always the best always in the class. Best. Okay. I, 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 I actually got used to being, being number, number one, one in class, <laughs> <Okay>. such that <laughs> I became so playful, okay. whereby I know I have any fire right. And yeah. you know, in grade five, it was just 
a shocking thing. I'm not in grade five, but grade six. Mm -hmm. We were writing our end of year uh, test, and there was a newcomer from Kabwe. That is Samuel Kalukango. He's yeah. lousy. This uh, guy was yeah. wow. That's Kabwe for you. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so I was so excited, yeah. Uh, and he didn't know how to speak Nyanja. So okay. us we were learning Chinyanja in school. Okay. He was learning Bemba. Bemba in yes. the test, I was even showing him, no, you should be doing like this. Again, getting the results, I found myself on number two. I cried. It was you very bad. I, no, I decided to become best friends with him oh, because okay. I wanted to find out how he does it. So that I just beat him, but I think I never beat him. Did you manage to beat no, him? No, until on. grade seven. Wow. So I just <laughs> remained on number two. I, it was, I had gotten used to that. So uh, it was an experience, though it wasn't that much of a difference. But okay, now that you are not together with uh, your siblings, probably mom and dad, tell me, what do you miss? you know, being in that company? You know, uh, whereby you're used to being uh, called in family meetings, so what's your decision? But now, it's you who's asking, what's your decision to your husband? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Him being the head of the uh -huh. house. Uh, I do miss that, but sometimes I forget, I think. <laughs> Okay. I always imagine like, oh, I'm still the first born in this oh, yeah. house. But uh, I do really miss that, but not because uh, I don't have the rights in the house. I do have the rights. Um, don't you miss probably fights with your siblings? You know, surprisingly, we never used to fight with wow. my siblings. They would okay. fight among themselves, yeah, but, but not, not with, with you. you. No. Okay. I'm not to mess with. <laughs> Why? As the elder sister. Ah, okay, 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 I get it. So tell me, um, um, lo looking at your dad and your mother, um, how was it? Uh, uh, your dad is a pastor, right? Yes, he is a pastor, though he's not uh, uh, working as pastor. a yeah, He's not working as a pastor for now. He's serving as an elder in our ministry, in the church, for now. Okay, for now. Yes, uh -huh. it's been, I think, Seven years now. Seven years uh, now. Yeah. But has he ever led the church? Yes, he's been leading, even as a pastor, as an evangelist. Uh, like, okay, his ministry mainly is about evangelism. Okay. So usually he will groom a ministry, he'll groom it, groom it, groom mm -hmm. it, and then to a now, extent. yes, then he hands over. Ah. But he still serves in our church as an elder. All right. Yes, that's mainly what he does. Okay. Uh, um. So uh, now you tell me uh, about your primary school. I mean, your secondary school. My secondary school Experience. was awesome. Uh, it was just about, you know, girl child school, you find yourself uh, hanging out with different girls, kind of attitudes, characters. But it was good because I was, I was in a Catholic school whereby oh, prayer okay. is a must. Whether mm. you are what you are what, you still have to go for their masses. Our yeah. head teacher was, uh, our head teacher was kind of tough. It's a must. Okay. For as long as you're in that school, you have to go for their prayer masses. So I learned to pray. I, I learned to pray the rosary. I learned okay. to pray uh, uh, those uh, those prayers, the Hail Mary, okay. full of grace, wow. whatever. Yes. Can you just I'll recite also, one for me? <laughs> I hope I'll forget. I'll, I'll remember. I think Hail Mary full of grace. The Lord is with us. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners. Yeah, I think I can wow, end there. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> yeah, okay. I was leading those prayers and I was in the choir, mm -hmm. school choir. So, yeah. Okay, so at what uh, stage, at what age did you realize, you know, you could sing? Not really as uh, a professional singer. I started singing when I was Okay, you know, when I was growing, I remember, I do remember, I was young, but I do remember I was working, we were fellowshipping from Nivala then, uh, we're coming from church, there was this, uh, the woman of God, by now she's our, she's our pa uh, pastor's wife okay. in our church, oh, okay. she was a youth by then, mm -hmm. and I was just a kid, she oh, was yeah. in the praise team, yeah, I was saying, yeah. mommy, I want to be singing like Auntie Priska, okay. you know, and that used to, but I want to sing like Auntie Priska, and the time that she got married and had her first kid, she got me, I stayed with her in okay, our home. Okay. Yeah, she's the one who raised me actually. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I stayed with her and she's been a minister of the gospel, she's been a singer and I think that also groomed me. Aside from that, my mom is a singer. Okay. So I think music has just been me, in me. Alright. Yeah. Um, would you at any point probably when you were young, 
you know, gather your siblings, maybe a family, and do some. Mostly, it's mom who used to do that. <laughs> mom used to gather us, okay. like let's sing together, and all of us are singers in our family, apart from dad. <laughs> Yes. All right. Uh, okay, so let's just take a break. Uh, we'll be right back after listening to your song, of course, Zina Lano. We'll be right back. <laughs>
You're still watching Faith Avenue right here, and this is your brother, Minster Kid. We are just chilling with Deborah C. Zinalan. What are you talking about in this song? What a power video, power song altogether. In that song, I'm just, uh, you know, uh, uh, the name Jesus, it carries a lot of work. Okay. <laughs> it carries a weight that you can't explain. Mm -hmm. It heals, it yeah. brings joy. So I'm um, just appreciating at his name, Jesus, every knee bows down. Mm -hmm. At his name, Jesus, every situation bows down. So I just say, thank you, Lord, for your name. Yeah. All right. Um, Tell me, who shot this video? Uh, it's my husband, Victor. Wow. Yes. All right, we'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to that. Uh, so tell me, um, what sort of process did you undergo for you to put up such, you know, work? In terms of my ministry music and... This uh, video? In terms of this video, it... Uh, Actually, what we were doing, we prepared, okay, we prepared a month before. Uh, we wanted to do this video, but it took time for us to just make a decision, okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. You know, working with, by then he was my fiancé, and you feel like, ah, I can take my time. But okay. there was just a day he just said, today, Is that carry day? this, we are going. Okay. <laughs> so I wasn't even that ready, I was like, ah. But when we went, we actually went to Mumbwa. That's where we did the video from. Oh, yes. Why Mumbwa in particular? He wanted that, uh, view. if you've seen, yes, that okay. view from the top. And so he didn't want the hill that is, uh, that's got trees or ah, grass or what. He okay. wanted rocks in short. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. So that's where he saw that kind of uh, location. All right. And um, how, how did you come up with this song? Zinalan. Mm, Zinalan. What know, was running through your mind? Actually, it's just what God has done. You know, I've believed, you know, it, it's something, ever since I just uh, got born again and re uh, got my salvation mm -hmm. personally oh, and yeah. accepted him, you know, I realized even in my sleep, the name of Jesus is just so powerful. My spirit being, even in my sleep when I'm attacked, there's nothing else I mentioned about mm -hmm. from the name of Jesus oh, yeah. because I've understood uh -huh. the, power the power it carries. Jesus. Yes. Uh -huh. So uh, I was just saying, at the name Jesus, I think this situation, mm -hmm. not that I was going through a situation, but okay. I was singing because I want to encourage someone out there that when you believe that the name of Jesus has got power mm -hmm. to heal you, to change your situation, then you are safe. Deborah, t tell me, um, how do you receive songs? Other uh, people, it's personal experience. Other people, it's just a certain inspiration that comes. For me, it's from the experiences. Uh, and other songs come because I've seen a situation uh, in someone's life. Okay. Sometimes I'm just reading the word of God. And then I've never received a song like it just comes and boom. No. Okay. No. I just look at the situation. Um, uh, I look at what has happened there then the song will come out maybe i'll just speak a word yeah um because of jesus this has happened and from there i'll just look for on i'll just look at the ways on how i can uh, make a song and how it will come out and then my husband also helps all right yes now tell me how did you discover that you could actually sing at a professional level you know, professional he, man, yeah, for man, yeah. professional. Hey. <laughs> What's you know, like um, I was singing. I've been singing in the praise team, yes, and it was just my fo that was my focus. Okay. I was singing in crusades. I was usually booked in crusades to go and sing and uh, church at programs. What age? I started singing at twelve like professionally in terms of not in the studio but okay yeah i was 12 years ministering to people yes like on a serious note yes okay i was 12 years old so uh through that i thought i think this is the ministry that god has called me to and i never even thought of uh, recordings what no it wasn't in me until there was a guy who insisted ah oh, you're a good singer i want you to help me do a song okay that's when i went to ssv studios i was backing this guy and the producer there, uh, Victor, he was like, yeah, you're a very good singer. Do you have songs? Uh, would you like to sing? I was even, no, I'm not, <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not ready to record and all that. But he is, he kept on pestering me. You know what? I think you've got a voice that can work in terms of uh, releasing an album. Mm -hmm. He started encouraging me in those lines. And from there, that's when I started recording. 
All yeah. right. Mm -hmm. And what was the first um, song to record? My first song was uh, Waiting on You. I wrote that song a long time when I was in grade eight. Okay. Yes, I had written that song Waiting on You. Uh, yeah, that was 2007. That's when I wrote that song. So it was like, if you have any song, just bring it. I want to hear how you come out. Okay. So he recorded that song and said, okay, let me help you write some of the songs. If you have other songs, then I also brought Mwali Wamba now. And mm -hmm. then we started working on the Run To You album. That's when it all came Beautiful. out. Beautiful. I remember at some point you used to do some drama. Yes. T walk me through. I've always experience. been an, uh, you know, it's been my passion. Acting is... Up to now? Yes. Do you still act? No, I'm not. All right. How did you find yourself <laughs> acting? <laughs> you know, I, I've been, okay, we're in a group, Your Majesty Youth Group. That group was uh, being headed by Gift Kazmik and Manasseh Mwale. Um, yeah, he's okay. uh, known as Lawyer Boy. Lawyer Boy. Yes. We started doing those uh, shorts episodes and would act it's always been in me to do that so uh though it has not gone that i still have that so tell, what has been your uh, uh like um, uh, most preferred role to act or character a, a mother cry baby a cry baby yes Play it a bit for me. No, yes. no, don't do yeah. that. Just here. No, no. <laughs> look in the camera. Glory to yes. Jesus. <laughs> here we go. Uh, can I do that when we're no, almost just dead? now. Just now. <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> can I do another role? No, they cry. Okay, I don't yeah. like crying. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. You know what? I don't like you coming home late. Because I can't handle this. The baby, the house chores, you are waiting for the food. Excuse me, you don't have to do that to me. You come here late and you are demanding for food. Excuse me, sir. Please. Don't, don't, don't give me those explanations. If you have to knock off 17 hours, you don't have to pass through anywhere else. So please, handle it. Or else next time you sleep out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You know, All I, right. I I'm loving this. this award Beautiful. <laughs> you still got it, my girl. I think I can yeah. do that. <laughs> Give me a high five. I'm <laughs> loving this already. But, come on. Why, why have you put aside this talent? Uh, you know, I feel... Because um, I, I was almost to... getting scared oh, that I'll be beaten on. here. No, I was nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. uh, I think... I, I can still do that. I can still do that because I don't have any limitations from my husband to say, no, okay, don't do okay. this or whatever. Oh, yeah. He still feels I can act. Sometimes he'll just come home, Mimi, can you please act for me? You always say you are an actress, uh -huh. but it's a cover. But um, I think it's just a matter of time. I'll still get back. Uh, wow. Now tell me, I know you were married. When did you get married? I got married in 2017, uh, 3rd June. 3rd June? Yes. How did you meet your man? You know, uh, I think I met him before he met me. <laughs> I, okay. I, <laughs> uh, I like that. I, I met him, uh, I used to see him, but not, you, you know, you see a person passing, then he goes. It doesn't click in your mind. You okay. see, you go to minister somewhere, you see him, oh, he's connecting. Oh, he's that Those guy. guys uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. feeling bad and uh -huh. all that. Yeah. Oh, okay. But when this guy, Ask me now. I want you to go and record a song at the studio. You helped me sing. I was eager to meet who Victor is. I didn't know he was Victor. I just knew him facially. Oh, ah, okay. Yes. So I was like, okay, I'm going to the studio mm -hmm. to sing. So when he came out, like, I was like, oh, yeah, this face I know. At least I was comforted because ah, okay. I'm always yeah. uh, nervous meeting new people, yeah, yeah, you know, okay. uh, how to start a conversation and all that. But I was like, oh, I think I've seen this face somewhere else. Yeah. So that's how I met him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and uh, just run me through what you like most, the most about him. I love everything. <laughs> Not really like, but I love everything about him. He's, okay, he's patient. Mm -hmm. He's got a heart. You, you, you know, even before you explain, I've, I've had, um, you know, chats with people that have passed through his hands in terms of recording and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They say he's a good guy. Oh, yeah. I, I've seen him, I think, once, but we haven't had time to chat. He's a very good person. Not because he's my husband, mm. okay? I've seen him 
working with other people and he's there for them not that there's something he's getting out of it or what he'll just see talent and say i want to help this person all right so in him there's that kind heart there's a patient kind of a person he's a god fearing man and he's just a wonderful person all right yeah. So I want you to look in the camera and just introduce the next song as presenter Deborah C. Right about now, we're going to listen to the song by Zeb Nshakaleke. Is it Nshakaleke? Yes, of course. So stay tuned. I'm 
Welcome back to Faith Avenue. Yes, wonderful, wonderful song by Zeb Shakaleke. Uh, don't stop working for the Lord. Don't stop serving the Lord because he is faithful and always by your side here on your celebrity segment. Beautiful. Yes. <laughs> I'm loving this. <laughs> Presenter Deborah right here. Uh, yes. Tell me, do you ever dream of becoming a presenter? I had that dream when I was still in school, but I, uh, when I grew up, I decided to just go for uh, something that is interactive. I like interacting with people and counseling, helping. Uh, that's why I went for healthcare assistant. Are you trying to say we don't interact with people? You do, but I think mostly, for me, I, I'm good in that area by someone is explaining something to me or someone who is feeling depressed, I think like I have that doing? gift. Like you're doing? <laughs> I have that gift of maybe um, encouraging or counseling, helping them through out that situation and how they can go about it. So for people who are not too well, maybe someone who's not feeling well, they're depressed with the, their condition. Mm -hmm. In that area, I think I'm good. On top of your head, do you think Zambian industry in terms of gospel is growing? It is growing. It is growing. By then, uh, like since the time I started singing in terms of uh, music it's it has grown it, there's a difference so far we are appreciating gospel music then we never used to pay attention to that but now we have grown there were challenges like to for you to be given a platform it's difficult for you to just push your music to be heard it's it was very difficult but if you're patient enough yes you see that okay so um, other than that what are some of the challenges that you faced the time that you released your first album? It was just a platform. Platform? The platform. Yeah, um, usually... Sponsorship, no problem? Sponsorship, yeah, mostly it's the platform when you're, you know, when you are given a platform, people hear your product, huh? and then that's where you can even find sponsorship. Okay. But it's not easy, it's something that is not advertised. Someone won't be, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. So I think when you are given a platform, there's a way whereby someone would still, oh, this is great work. Let me come in to help. And who, who, who's managing you now? It's my husband. Who's promoting you? My husband. <laughs> All right. No? Okay, I get it. Uh, you, uh, the, the, uh, even ZNBC has promoted me. How? Uh, by playing my music. Okay, obviously yes, that's, that's um, promotion, by the way. Yes, <laughs> mostly. But, but I want to look at uh, pro promoting your music, like, professionally. Have you ever heard of a Chapro? Yes, I've heard of Chapro, but I've not worked with them before. Why? Uh, not really that I don't want, but, you know, <laughs> I've never just taken a step. Have you ever inquired no, what not, they do? No, I've not done Maybe that. Maybe you feel you are okay with the kind of uh, the so promoter far, you have? Uh, you know, I want... Uh, there's um, there's a way. Okay, there are other people who are backing me, like uh, ministers of the gospel, pastors mostly. I'm working with a pastor from Grace Pentecostal Church and Ministry, Pastor Sivanda. He has been there. And uh, mainly, I didn't want to work with um, big, big um, promoters. Why? Because I want to be a promoter myself. I want to grow. <laughs> I want to grow my How ministry. How many things do you want to no, become? No, <laughs> not really. Not really promoting uh, music as such. But I want. I have a label that is the Borasi Music Ministry. Okay. Yes, okay. that's where I'm grooming others oh, from. Yes. I see. So I'm taking my time. I'm not in a hurry to just. <laughs> now, just about your label. Uh -huh. Don't you think it's too early for you to have a label? Don't you think you still need to grow? No, uh, for the grooming. I'm taking my time. I've not yet started, like, no. Do you have people that are under you, under your label? I all, uh, no, not yet. Not yet? Not yet. I'm grooming myself. We're trying to promote the name itself. Okay. Yes. So we've not started yet. But we have people who are still asking, oh, when are you starting? When? But we are still working on it. By the grace of, grace of God, by next year, mid-year, we have to, we need to have at least an artist under my label. Ah, okay. Great. Yes. Now, tell me. Of uh, the great names that we have in Zambia, who, do you, who have you ever worked with? I've worked with Karen, 
Ah, okay, Karen. Yes. On which song? Uh, Zinalan. Ah, okay. But in the video, she didn't manage because I think she was out the time I was doing that video. Mm -hmm. And like I told you, it was like, let's go today. You are going oh, yeah, to do yeah, the sure. video. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. So uh, she didn't manage, but I worked with her on that song. Other than Karen? So if you get the audio, it will still, the, her voice is still okay. there. Okay, <laughs> all right. Other than Karen? <laughs> uh, there's Regina Mwanza. Mm -hmm. I've worked with Stevie G. Okay. Yes. Uh, I've also worked with who? Kachi Kasonde. Kasonde Chimpusa is from Kapiwa. Okay. Yes, in the new project. Mm -hmm. He's the only one who actually featured in that project. Who inspires you on Zambian gospel like this? Wow. Ephraim. Okay. You know, I'm a worshipper. So uh, I go with that. Okay. Ephraim inspires me a lot. Apart from that, that person is not known, like in terms of, uh, he's not a recording artist for now. Though okay. he's, I'm sure he's working on that nice one. Mm -hmm. Minister Nison, he's a great minister. He has inspired every time I think of music, I know the way he goes about it. And I've learned a lot because I've worked with him, mm -hmm. with his prayer team and all that. Okay. Yeah, those are the people who inspire me a lot. The, only these two? No female? Females? Okay, I'll, if I say, if I start mentioning, uh, I'll tell you that everyone, one. everyone inspires me. I don't have someone that I say I look up to. Okay. No, I don't have that. But I look up to everyone to say, wow, when I hear this person ministering, I get blessed. I'm lifted in the spirit. So. All right. On the international, on the international scene? On the international, I the <laughs> Sinashi. Okay. Sinashi is a blessing. Oh, wow. She inspires me a lot. That's a woman of God who inspires me a lot. Okay. Yeah. Um, and okay. she's not really a gospel artist, but she's, I don't know that, what you call that kind of music, Zahara. The okay. music Zara does. Okay. That goes. It just helps me. All also. right. Yes. Um, now, tell me. I know you are probably working on a lot of things. <laughs> a lot. A lot of a things. A lot of things. You are such a huge house full of talent. Oh, yeah. Now, now tell me. Are you, are you thinking, or when you sit with your heartbeat, do you ever think of probably starting a church? No. Why? <laughs> no. <laughs> I've never thought of that, and I don't think I'll ever think of that. Why? You know, I don't think it's, uh, it's, n I'm not, uh, I do feel the coding, not of starting a church. Okay. I'm a minister of the gospel, preaching, mm -hmm. but starting a church, no. If I were to be called a minister of the word of God, I would rather serve under someone, especially my pastor, my bishop, but uh, not, it's not something that I... I've been, uh, God has spoken, yes, you're the mm -hmm. minister of the gospel, but I think I'm being a bit stubborn. I'm working on myself, in short. All right. Um, mm -hmm. From the time that uh, you came in the limelight, um, which function or which ministration do you look at and say, this was the one? In terms of... Uh, you ministering somewhere. You are invited, probably. And then you means and you say this was just on point. Mm, there are many places. Just I've one. Been. I think my ministry, my highlight of my ministry so far of this journey, was when I was ministering in South Africa. Okay. Just you know, you find big big artists, huh? and then you feel like no. You know how South Africans, yeah. Benjamin Dube, yeah. Soli Mashango, and they are there, they are there to minister, and you're one of the mm -hmm. ministers. You feel like, oh no, I'm not going to do this. But when I stepped on the altar to just sing, mm -hmm. the courage, the Holy Spirit was just there for me. And I ministered and people were, you know, someone taking off the shoes, like giving as a seed to say, I've been okay. ministered to. Was it of your size? Yes, <laughs> of course, I think God, you know, it was. <laughs> okay. I love the shoes, mm -hmm. yes, yeah. So it was something and I hearing great men of God saying, I've never seen a courage just girl Minister, like you like oh you. yes because mm. you know bishop look, uh, yeah. benjamin mm -hmm. Dube, he deals with big artists and he was there ministering he was there to say okay you did well so i think that was the greatest thing and like the lowest moment it was just last last was it last month i went to minister surprisingly i felt to sing there were no power? I wasn't alone. No, I, I, I don't fail to sing when there's no power. No, that's not what happened. Recording. How did you fail this time around? 
Okay, the place was awesome, but I just felt I think the voice couldn't come out. <laughs> it just didn't come out. Were you scared? Were no. you nervous? No, I've never been nervous on stage. I can be nervous in the audience and sit there waiting for that time. Mm -hmm. But when I go there, mm -hmm. I wasn't nervous. So I think that was the down moment for me. How did you feel? I felt that? bad and I have been apologized. To, to the audience? Me. Yes, I apologized to the audience. And With what excuse? No, just saying, uh, don't worry, I think we're ti I'm tired. So Were you I'll, coming from another ministry? Yeah, I've been, I was ministering. That's the same week from 24th to 28th. I was ministering. I was seeing somewhere else. I think also there was tiredness and all that. So I think I just apologize. And left but do you think people stage. understood you? I think they understood. I think. <laughs> you think? <laughs> <laughs> Though I said next time I'll come. And wow. Minister, yes. Okay, let's just take a break as we listen to your song. I love this one. Mueva <laughs> Mushiro, <laughs> we'll be right back. Mueva Mushiro, te sani mue. Mueva Mushiro, te sani mue. Mueva Maka, te Kuchipuna chenu twa kungula. Mueva mushilo esa ne mue. Mueva mushilo esa ne mue.
What a powerful song right there, Mweba Mushiro by Deborah C. C is actually for Chashi. Yes. Why do you want to be hiding? You know, uh, I thought the name was too long. Chashi? <laughs> no, uh, Only from Deborah six, and six Chashi. Later. Deborah Chashi. Yeah. So I just felt like, okay, C. Deborah C. Yes. Maybe stage name just. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So now, um, this song really, I would say, is my song. How did you write it? What happened? Actually, that song is uh, was written by Victor. Wow. Yes. He wrote that. So he just called me like, Mama, I have a song. He was working that day. So I wanted to come to the studio right now. So when I went there, I listened to the words. Yeah, he's Tumbuka. So Bemba was... Uh -huh. Mamba Jamba. Here very and much. So <laughs> I actually got the song and said, let me just go and Rearrange. control. Yes. <laughs> The Bemba, it was well arranged, everything was arranged by him, and then just correcting the words, how to, yes. Otherwise, he was so just like... So, what he usually does is that uh, he writes the song? Yes. Then you come up with a tune? No, he will write and you will even find the instrument ready. Ah, okay. Yes. Then He's a writer, he will, yes, he will write, compose, and just... Give you the tune as well. Everything. Sometimes you find he has sung. Okay. There the are voices in the song. Then you say, go and listen to it, where you need to control, go and control, and then come back to record. Wow. So when we were recording that song, he said, no, I want it live. I want everything played live. So So it was done, it was, it was recorded live? Live, everything live. Drum set, keyboard drums, and wow. everything, yes. So it was, we, we went and, you know, we prayed about it. Mm -hmm. we, wanted, we were talking about the holiness of God and just... Him being the Holy One, you know, uh, it ministers to me. Every time I sing that song, mm. I feel, yes, my God is holy, and mm. He is holy. Okay. Um, share with me, I want to find out, after probably selling your music, or making money from a certain function or a concert, mm. do you share money with your husband? Because he puts in a lot. No. Oh, what happens? Uh-uh. That's my money. <laughs> no, <Okay>. really? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, in terms of money, whenever I minister somewhere, yes, the money will come to me, but him being my husband, you I hand, hand over. over. Okay. I hand over. He handles the money. And that I've learned. Okay, he's not the kind of a person who wants, he doesn't like it though. When okay. I minister, I give him the money, like, okay, let's make a budget. He just say no. This is your money. If you don't want it, if you don't have anything to use it for, save it. Yeah, usually he does that. So in terms of sharing, no, we don't share. We just use it, whatever we need at home. If ministry-wise, we need to buy some certain things. Yes, that's where the money is go. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I know. You know, there's a lot of work put in when it comes to writing a song, mm -hmm. composing it. Yeah. You know, recording, editing, and all that stuff. Um, as Deborah to see, is it SSV? Yes. What do you do in return? Uh, to SSV, I <laughs> I pay loyalties. <laughs> oh yes, in like form of? in terms of uh, making CDs, I pay. Okay. I have to pay. Production. Production of CDs? of CDs, I have to pay. No questions about it. It's just business. No negotiations. Nothing like no that. No discount. But uh, there is discount for me. Okay. <laughs> of course, there has to be discount. Okay. But it's not. Uh, very much that it can, uh, I would say I'm getting it at free. No, I pay okay. for the CD. Okay. Yes. Recording, yes, I do recordings for free. And thank God the Lord has been faithful. Even the, for the videos, I've been helped by my husband's friend, B Mark. Okay. Okay. He's been there. It's like he has sown a seed in me. Wow. So whenever he's doing a video, you just go, No, I want to do a video for this and all that. Okay. So I think. The grace is just Yes. Okay. Uh, um, other than South Africa, where else have you gone internationally? 
No, I've not. Yeah. I've not yet gone anywhere else. Uh, mainly, my ministry was uh, in South Africa. That's why I used to go mostly to just do ministry. But uh, we are yet to extend our territory. Okay. Yes. Like for next year, we are planning big, big things at least. In the next project, who do we see Deborah collaborating with? Uh, on that, I've not thought of that because this project I have is it's just a new one. So I've not yet started thinking about uh, who I can work with in terms of the next project. You know, so sometimes certain names just click, though you have. You don't really have a song to pinpoint on and say, okay, I want this person to feature in the song. I've there are just certain people that you'd want to work with. I would love to work with uh, Chile Shabwadia. Okay. Yes, Chile Shabwadia. I've want, I, actually, in this project, I was supposed to do a song with her, but there's something that came up, I think, and we didn't call her back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But otherwise, Chile Shabwadia and. I think it's not just and internationally imagine. probably. Oh, tell me about that. <laughs> I just want to work with Soli Mashang. Wahamarati, that man. That's all? I tell you, that one I want to work with, and I would do it. All right. <laughs> Believe in God. <laughs> oh yeah, no, you definitely open doors. Oh yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> now tell me, Deborah. From A up to probably K, where you are in your life journey. Do you, is there anything that when you look at, you'd say, I regret having done this? In terms of when, my ministry or just life? Just your life in general. I regret um, miss leading my life before. You know, I grew up in a Christian family, but my character, I started misbehaving with friends. I was young, very young. I think... What sort of uh, misbehaving? I was just uh, in some groups whereby you fight, you just <laughs> follow, okay. you see someone, you just want to... Those kind of life, okay? And uh, I don't like talking about some of the things like smoking, so, 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 you know, you are here. There, there oh, could yes. be the next Deborah no, no, out there actually, watching you. Actually, I've smoked and before. And your word could, you I've know, just leave them up. And you find that the friends I was interacting with, they were smoking. So you find that, ah, no, you should do this as well. It makes you cool. I saw... Well, I I saw, I saw <laughs> what were you no, smoking? All kinds. <laughs> Forget it, no. What, what were you smoking? Just smoking. What? Yeah. I've smoked weed before, but I've... I've done that. And you went high. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Don't you sometimes do that when going on stage? No. <laughs> that I can't do. Oh, yes. I've already smoked so the Holy Spirit. So, ah, it's enough. <laughs> what was the worst experience during such an intoxication? I was beaten by friends. Uh, I was beaten and almost my eye was almost plucked out. Someone threw a screwdriver to me. And it just reached somewhere here. I had a scar, though it has gone mm -hmm. somewhere here. Okay. Yeah, that was the worst experience. Uh, I just—that was the time I decided no. This time around, I'm for him alone. I don't and, want to. And and uh, du during that time of uh, smoking and stuff like that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, causing wrangles here and there. How were your parents taking you? How they, were they had no to? idea. They never knew about no. it. No. Up to now. They've heard about it. And they're shocked, like they were like our Deborah. Eh? Ethiship <laughs> You know. Okay. When you have a father as a pastor you go like hmm. oh sure. You know, it it's it's it was an experience, though hidden experience from my parents. Mm -hmm. But most of my friends knew. They knew about it. You were doing this with uh, distant friends? No, my close friend I didn't have friends from within the area my okay. friends were from okay yeah what a so <laughs> it was a strategy <laughs> okay yeah so i think because of that i was influenced in those things and all that but i never used to drink i, I think when it comes to alcohol no i never indulge myself in that okay yeah. off the site you're telling me about the new song and uh, the promotion tell oh, yeah. me more about it 
Lesa Mukulu, it's a new video that um, we've done. Uh, it's just talking about my life belongs to in the hands of God and I will not worry because he is the one keeping me. Um, it is well with my soul. So I'm just encouraging also someone out there to say, don't worry my sister, my brother, because it is well with your soul. When you just believe in him, it is well. I want you to look in the camera. There's that song, the English one. New creation. New creation. I want you to do a line for me. Um, <laughs> okay. Fear you gone. I'm afraid no more. Depression you go. I'm not living anymore. No. I think I forgot the lyrics. <laughs> okay. Remember them. Here we go. Yes. Fear you gone. I'm afraid no more. Depression you go on, I'm not worrying anymore. Bitterness you go on, forgiveness is my own. Own, 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 own. I belong to Jesus now, I'm a new creation. I belong to Jesus now, I'm a new creation. I'm over you now. Bitterness, I'm over you now. Yeah. Wonderful. I, I just love this song. <laughs> Thank you. So tell me, Deborah Church, what tribe are you? I'm Bemba. You're Bemba? Yes. Ah, okay. So I want you to look in the camera and just say a prayer. In Lozi. Seriously, I can't. I have never spoken Lozi in my life. Ah, oh, you said you're married to a Tumbuka. I can't Gentleman, even speak. Just look in the no, I can't even pray in Tumbuka. Come Why? on. It's just been a year. I'm still learning. <laughs> Deborah, you can't do that to him. I'm and to still me. learning. Yes, there are some words I can speak when I'm interacting, not to an extent of praying. <laughs> you can. You didn't no. just know. Okay, uh, say a prayer then in Tonga. You know, I can, I can manage Nyanja in Bemba. No, you don't need to tell me what you can manage. <laughs> I can't speak How long Tonga. have you been in Zambia? <laughs> Since I was born. <laughs> and when were you born? A oh, long, long time ago. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so then say a prayer in Nyanja. When am I to crucify you when Jesus already I'm died? I'm praying for about you? what? The audience. I'm praying for the audience. The Holy Spirit will just lead you. Okay. In Yanja? Yes, in Yanja. Ooh, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, let us pray. If you're watching this, just believe God that He will touch you. Tipempele uh, mchinyanja. Yehova wakumuambati ya mikazina lanu. Tikuta mandani. Landilani maya miko. Shokela kwa isembuye. Tiku ya mikani pa umoe mwatipasa. Even... Pavin to once of a name would not pass a ambuye tia mika. Nipempere and a once a mini swam vera buino. Whenever the pa can name a batamba, ambuye moaguile, moa poche, muzina su Christ to tia mika. Amen. Amen. Chiran bangana chia. <laughs> no, it's when I can manage. Oh, I know, God has Bemba, Obviously, know. God knows what we're trying to yes. communicate. <laughs> no, unless you ask my parents. My parents, whenever they're praying in Georgia, people mm -hmm. think they're from Malawi. Oh, okay, great. Yes. So, Deborah, it's been nice having you oh, on nice. Further Venue. This is the beginning of um, everything. Oh, yes. We're looking forward to having you again. Oh, yeah, I've You've been, been awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. So this has been Faith having you right with your brother means the cage and it's been your celebrity segment. We'll see you next time. Shalom, shalom. some gifts including me for you i will live look at my gift and i wonder will you accept it i'm in need of your blessing this is my expression